Hello, this is Rachel with Land and Sky Mandalas, and today I am happy to join you so I can show you how to paint your own rainbow spiral yo-yo. I've been looking for a project where I could use nothing but the folk art color shift paints, and this one, my friends, is the perfect project for that. It's fun, it's easy, and it's super shiny, colorful, and sparkly. All my favorite adjectives all put together in one project. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a blank yo-yo, dotting tools, a stylus tool, a spiral stencil, a charcoal pencil, and silicone dotting tools. All of these items I have for sale in my Etsy store, and the links are down below. So first thing you'll need is a blank, unfinished yo-yo. Um, the ones that I carry are beautifully constructed and they have a smooth, sanded surface and they're perfect for mandala work. You'll want to paint both sides with your chalk paint and I use the Martha Stewart Gray chalkboard paint. Now with this you want to make sure you dry it for at least 15 minutes. If you don't, it'll be hard. Um, it doesn't have the, the chalky surface texture that it would if you let it fully dry, which I didn't for this video, and next time I definitely will. So the next step is to find the center dot and what I do is I use one of my divider stencils and what you do is you just pay attention to these little tabs all the way around the center and you take your piece, you line it up and you just visually can tell by looking straight down where the center is going to fall. So then you just mark it and line your spiral stencil right up with that center dot and then go ahead and trace all the lines all the way around. Okay, so now we're ready to paint. I just smoothed out and wiped the excess chalk off the surface so it doesn't interfere with the paint in any way. Uh, and now we're going to go and dot right on top of the charcoal line with gradually larger sized gold dots. I started with a pointed silicone dotting tool for the tiniest dots and I slowly worked my way up to a 1 8 inch tool at the very end. Okay, so now while that dries, let's go ahead and add some color.
Okay, so at this point it's good to let it dry so you don't smear the edges. And uh, here's where I show you what can happen if you don't let it dry. Uh, no worries though, easy cleanup. You just wipe away with a wet cotton swab and repaint the base coat to erase the mistake. Okay, so for the color shift paints, what I did was I just used the open caps and laid them out in rainbow order on my tabletop just to make it easy to move from one color onto the next. And I did three dots of each color from beginning to end. So you just move your tool up in size as the space in between the gold lines will allow. So one thing I should note about these color shift paints is while they are beautiful, they act kind of funny. They have a really weird sticky consistency, um, which is totally fine, a trade-off for how beautiful they are, but they just act a little differently than other paints. So you want to make sure that when you pull your tool off of the dot, um, you do it slowly and carefully so it doesn't have this big huge long string of paint that comes off the end. So here is a good example of what can happen when you're using this sticky paint and you're not really careful with how you pull the dotting tool away from your dot. Stuff like this can happen. Yikes! Okay, so now on to the top dots. So while keeping with the rainbow order, what I did was I used the previous color on the first two dots and then used the next color on the last dot. And this makes a nice transition from one color onto the next. And I just did that all the way down the line.
So for me, one of the most exciting parts of any dotting project is adding the top dots. I really feel like at this point you start to see everything come together and kind of get a different dimension and it's really exciting to uh, finish with these top pretty tiny dots. To finish, I added a sparkly pink Swarovski crystal right in the middle for extra bling. Now it's super important at the end to add two coats of varnish to your finished piece to protect it. And I like to use glossy varnish for metallic paints just because it adds to the shimmery quality. So here it is. It's so pretty, isn't it? So nice and sparkly. And it's useful because it, you can use it as a toy. Okay. So now you just put it together by taking the inside rod with the string, pop it into one side, pop the other side on, and then you're ready to go. String it up, and there you have it. Your own rainbow spiral yo-yo. So there it is. I'm super happy with how it turned out. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun with this project and I hope you get a chance to try this out for yourself. If you like this video, please hit the like button and join me by subscribing to my channel. I have lots of plans for more videos coming soon. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Until next time.